Welcome to my 100 days in hardcore Pixelmon Nuzlocke. Here are the rules. First, the game is set to hardcore, so if I die, the game is over. If my Pokemon faint, they're dead and I have to either store them in a PC or release them, but they cannot be used anymore. If all the Pokemon on my team faint, I lose, even if I have more Pokemon available in the PC, so a total team wipe means death. No items in battle. Battles are in set mode, which I think is actually default, I don't know if you can even change that. And this one's up for a little bit of debate. In a typical Nuzlocke, then you only catch the first Pokemon in each route. Now, since we don't have routes, I thought that I'd just do one per biome. But I could still kind of like go out and hunt for the Pokemon that I wanted. And so instead, what I decided to do was to use Pokestops, which are part of this mod pack. These will give you eggs, just like in Pokemon Go which will then hatch into a random Pokemon at a random level. So it felt a little bit more nuzlocke to me. If you want to play along, I'm using the Pokehand mod pack, which is on the Twitch launcher. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. And finally, the goal of our challenge here is to collect eight gym badges within 100 days. The first thing we do is we pick Charmander as our starter because Gen 1 is the best. Fight me! Our first task is to find a town so that we can collect some basic supplies and hear Charmander should we need to. Now, two of my favorite mods are in here, Project E and Project EX, so my next major goal is to set those mods up and start gathering some resources. And next thing you know, we've got full diamond gear, all the food we could want, concrete, and a little bit of an automated smelter, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we're about 10 days into this by now, so we should probably get things moving a little bit. I need more Pokemon, and I want to start challenging some gyms, and to do that, we need to explore a little bit. There are a couple Pokestops to the north of town, so we'll grab those first. We get a bunch of eggs, and we get a bunch of new Pokemon. All praise Lord Helix. Next, we head east looking for a gym. I feel pretty confident we'll be able to do some damage here, and if not, we can always train for a little bit. After looting the village, we heal up and then head into the gym. It looks like Pokemon around here are only around level 50 and I have like a level 40 something mean Pokemon, so this should be a piece of cake. And what do you know? It was a total sweep, so this might be easier than I thought. After heading back to base, I had a brilliant idea. Even though we can't actually use items in battle, it would still be smart to have some sort of healing items to use between fights. But we need money. And so what I decided to do was to create an automatic Pokeball manufacturing thing, right? And it can actually be done pretty easily using the mods that we have installed here, so let's do that. Ultra Balls give us 600 Poke Dollars each, and since we can automate the entire process, we can get a lot of these Pokeballs really quickly, and it's passive, and I feel really smart right now. Okay, now that we got that settled, let's go ahead and head on to the next gym. This time I decided to head north, got lost in a mineshaft, and hatched some new notable Pokemon. A Buzzwool, a Pinsir, and an Aerodactyl. And I'm able to bring them onto the team using this handy PC that I found. Wow. I didn't know Buzzwool was that big. But still, it's only level 6, so let's switch in something that's going to be a little bit safer, like Aerodactyl. Wait a minute. Aerodactyl can fly. That would speed this entire thing up by a ton. I could just fly to the next town. I wouldn't have to worry about running around all the time, but this would be great. So, right click to mount. Space lets us jump. Multiple spaces maintain altitude. Cool, cool, cool. There's a Pokemon Center. We should probably go heal up. Okay, how do I land this thing? Um, shift? Oh. I survived 28 out of 100 days of my hardcore Pixelmon Nuzlocke only to die because I pushed the wrong button. But much can be learned from failure. Lessons that make you bleed are readily remembered. Let me know if you think we should try again. And thanks for watching.